every day, chemists in the lab are synthesizing chemicals. Little we know that we too are synthesizing molecules in our own lives. Join us and see how mundane human interactions can mirror the reactions of those in the chemical world. Throughout the video, you will encounter scenarios. To aid in chemistry knowledge, the mechanism for each reaction will be shown alongside the human reactions. At the store, this is a bra, but here, we refer to it as a bromine, or as I like to call it, a bromine. Single bonded to another bromine to fulfill the octet rule. Along come two double bonded carbons. But wait, one carbon breaks off from the double bond and forms a bond with the bromine. The other carbon now has a positive charge and it too bonds to the bromine. Oh no! They're fighting! Ladies, ladies! Luckily, a bromine that has a free pair of electrons bonds to the carbon that feels more positive. The end result is an anti-addition of two halogens. In this scenario, you see only one configuration of the molecule, but its an anti also exists. I had a cream cheese bagel this morning. No way. Yes way. Bagels. You like bagels too? I love bagels. <gasps> Let's make a Stuyvesant Bagel Club. Let's! I like bagels too. Who are you? I'm an Alkeen, and you're an Alkeen, and she's an Alkeen. Hey, if we get a bagel, we could do a hydroboration oxidation reaction. Each elbow is a carbon double bonded to the other carbon. When BH3 is present, the double bond breaks so that one carbon bonds with the boron, while the other carbon bonds with the hydrogen. BH3 is now BH2, and the cycle repeats twice more. Boron is now bonded to three carbons in total. you have to clean up your mess. Alcohol to the rescue! The only problem is that the bagel has some cream cheese in it, and the cream cheese has some peroxide in it. Oh no! This would mean that this reaction is not Markovnikov, and that the OH bonds to the less substituted carbon. The end result is a syn addition of H and OH. At the Church of Cyclopropane Nation, a ceremony is held to the god of cyclopropanes. These two carbon zealots are double bonded through prayer. The rite of passage for a new member, CH2I2, to join involves an elaborate ritual by which ZN and CuCl2 are necessary for the reaction to work. The carbon double bond breaks and each carbon forms a bond with the new carbon, thereby making Every day in PE class, my captain passes the ball around, also known as metacoral peroxybenzoic acid. This player's elbow is a double bonded carbon, forming an alkene. As MTPBA reacts with the two carbons, the double bond opens up and each carbon bonds to the oxygen from the MCPBA, making a very happy epoxide. Say a bond is formed between them. A
covalent bond connects them. I wonder where I learned that. Ooh, I said, what, what about organic chemistry? She said, I think I remember the class, and as I recall, I think we both kind of liked it. And I said, well, I can tell that you passed.